Now, the U.S. says it has hit two facilities in eastern Syria it believes were used by Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard in what it called self-defense strikes. Well, Bloomberg Middle East and Africa anchor Yusuf Gamaldin Knight joins us. Yusuf, good morning. So take us through the latest. Hey, Francine. So basically, this is the U.S. making sure that uh, it sends a clear signal to well, pretty much anybody who thinks that uh, U.S. assets can be targeted without any response. And so this in self-defense to some of the events that happened uh, in the October 17 set of developments. But the thing I want to point out is that the U.S. Def Defense Secretary also said that it's unacceptable and it would not go without a clear U.S. response. And the Iranian side, for their part, I mean, they also made it very clear that uh, what they're seeing as genocide uh, in the uh, Gaza Strip is not going to go without a response. So there's a lot of tit for tat, and I think it's important to highlight that this happened along the uh, General Assembly of the United Nations. And ultimately, what you saw as well is the Iranians playing with their proxy influence, right? So specifically uh, Hamas and others. We understand that the uh, deputy foreign minister of Iran met with one of the senior Hamas Politburo members in Moscow just within the last few hours.